Hello, Be Awesome listeners. This is episode 52 of the Be Awesome podcast, and I have a repeat performance from an old friend, uh, Chris Mills, who was on episode 14, which was Two Guys, a Cat, and a Look a Deer, I think it was titled, uh, <laughs> back in 2018. Chris, welcome back, first and foremost. What's going on? Uh, just, you know, going to enjoy a nice little beverage this evening. Hope you are, too. I am um, using my... Uh... Yeah, that's a hard. That, that looks that, that looks like a very special hard seltzer. It's a cooler. hard seltzer and a masculine. I, I don't know if you call it a koozie or a uh, with my Zach Brown sticker on. It's probably the best gift I've got in the past month. Yeah, no, it's it, it's got the wood going with it too, so that's nice. Yeah, well, um, we get masculine. So we yeah, roll. Yeah, absolutely. So you know, uh, Chris, I'm glad you could come on here. As all jokes aside, you're a first responder in town. Um, all of this craziness uh, happened. Um, first, I would think that it'd be really hard for you just to kind of keep your head on straight. Um, and secondly, it, you know, I, I think I try to encourage you as much as possible with everything that you do. But I, I really thought that your flag making business was going to suffer with everything that's going on. And it seems like you have been busier than ever making flags and having people interested. I was just making a funny post on um, my Facebook page and I went to your Facebook page and there was someone that says, um, the next on my list is one of the flags with the mountains, which is one of your <laughs> in, in shop, in shop flags. I didn't know those were for sale. I might need to, uh, pick one up. I was looking, I've bought or won in charity auctions, 10 of your flags, including the one behind me. Um, so business is still good for you. Yep. It's, um, it, it definitely, uh, it dropped off for a few days and then came back full force. And, and I mean, uh, I'm also a general contractor uh, with a year's worth of uh, work booked up ahead of me and all of it completely, not necessarily vanished, but has definitely been put on hold. Uh, I was blessed with people making flag orders and every, every other day, there's a, definitely a different order that, uh, that, that comes in. So it's, uh, I guess a blessing in disguise cause I always wanted to just be full time in the shop. So that's kind of what we're doing now when I'm yeah. not uh, at the fire station. The shop's looking the best it's ever looked. You got fancy floor covering down on the uh, cement floors and you with speckles and stuff in it you got all new wood on the walls and you got almost like a showroom looking in there um so tell us a little bit about how you started the flag to shovel town flag where did the idea come from what makes it so unique i mean there's a lot of other companies out there um because i follow you i think i have other flag companies out there um Give, give a little rundown of the history of what's... Shovel, Shovel Town Flag was hatched completely by accident. 100% uh, hand of the Bible, did not mean to do this. And I was, I told the story a bunch of times, I was basically forced to make a retirement gift for one of the police officers that I work with, somebody that I'm very close with. And another mutual friend who has been a guest on your show basically bullied me into it. I didn't want to do it. I whined about it, if you can imagine that. And so I decided to do it and I made it and everyone liked it. And like anything that I do, once I make something and you get compliments, I said to myself, well, maybe there's a better way I can do this. Maybe I could do it differently. And, uh, you know, after a week's worth of doing research, going on Pinterest, seeing other every, people's ads, I said, well, how can I make my flags different? So I started to uh, look at my inventory of wood in, in over 20 years of doing renovations to people's homes, I've saved a lot of really pretty beams, um, old wood that I said, well, geez, you know what, maybe I'll have a use for it one day. So I ended up making a couple more flags out of some of these old beams. Um, it was actually my wife, Carrie's suggestion. And I did that. And, and truth be told, I didn't even know what I was going to do with them. Friends saw them. Hey, Millsy, let me buy one of those. So I started to do that. And I basically, it was like a hobby for the first six, seven, eight months. And, and you know, taking me into mid-2017. And I didn't use Facebook. I didn't do anything. And people were still, hey, I want one of those flags. Oh, you, you know, and so... 
I don't somehow it morphed into making more, making more, and then um, I believe it was in the winter of 2018. You helped me build a very uh, you and my wife helped me build a very basic uh, website, and uh, thankfully, knock on wood, it uh, it's taken off. It's 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 been good. It's definitely not anything that I could support anything on right now, but. Um, I've met some amazing people as a result of it. And it's, it's, it's kind of a passion. It, it, yeah. It's great. You know, long after I'm gone, there might be a few flags floating around with my name on them. So I'm fine with that. Well, that's what I tell people. I mean, when you talk about some of the beams and some of the rafters, and I've been telling listeners that aren't from Easton about Easton and the history behind it. And, uh, I had Darcy from the Y on yesterday and we we're talking about the Y and, and she says, Oh yeah, the buildings from the late 1800s, it was originally part of shovel, you know, the shovel shop square shovels, shovel town uh, where shovels were made. And, and um, you've got some, some of the wood, like one of my flags, that, the first flag that you made for me. Um, the awesome flag. The awesome right? flag for the yep. first episode. That was wood from one of the Ames properties, I think was, mm -hmm. and, you, and you put where the wood came from, yeah, every um, every flag that that we produce is numbered and signed um, with a date on it when it was completed, and it has a description on where the wood came from. Yeah. So my first flag, the wood, some of the wood in that was from the 1800s. So when you talk about maybe a flag will be around after you're gone, I think a bunch of these flags are going to be around long after we're both gone. Um, and it's a great repurposing of the flags um, that that I see that you're doing. It's 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 really kind of cool. Uh, when I, when I pick up the flags that I get, I always look on the back and I try to see where, where it came from or what it was and the differences in it. So, you know, the first flag that I got, the be awesome flag, this is a challenge coin flag. I just want to count challenge coin, uh, shelf and you built me an entire flag with, a you know, a custom logo and everything, which is amazing. Um, but the original flag that you made for me, that was really all you were making. You were making just kind of a standard flag with yep. cus custom engraving. And now looking behind you, you've got wavy flags, different size flags, flags with mountains on them. You know, talk about some of the different options, different things that you make these for. I, Where do you get the ideas from? That's the next I, 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 You know what? Oddly enough, I get the ideas from other people. Um, you know, the guys that make flags throughout the country, it's, it's um, oddly enough, a very supportive community and not a cutthroat community. And you know, thanks to social media, you become friends with people um, from all over the country, different states, and they'll email you like, hey, I like what you're doing. Follow what I'm doing. And I mean, I know guys now that make flags out of metal. I, guys that make flags out of, uh, I've seen one that they've done stained glass, uh, wood. And so you get to see how everyone else does things. You try and make them a little different. Uh, you know, our, our flags, the, the frame flags, like the one behind you, yeah. is a challenge coin holder one. But one of um, Shoveltown Flag Company's claim to fame is we engrave ours. So it allows uh, a customer to customize the flag and mm -hmm. put something on it that they may want. Uh, I typically don't have flags you know, ready to buy. Sometimes there's one or two that I have. If I'm testing out a prototype, we just, um, we're, we're working on a prototype right now of a uh, smaller wavy flag, mm -hmm. but, um, it w that's, uh, the power of social media. If I have a prototype, I'll put it out there. And if I get a lot of feedback, then it's like, okay, well maybe I'll start producing them. So yeah. it, uh, I have a pretty picky design committee at home with a uh, daughter who's an art major and, mm -hmm. uh, a, a wife. They, they're, no holds barred when they're with their yeah. comments. So <laughs> if it's good, we put it out there. And if it's not, then I sulk, drink, and go back to the drawing board. Where's the Shovel Town, uh, the official Shovel Town flag you just made? Which one? The official Shovel Town flag. The one with uh, the shovels. I'm going, let me see if I can uh, I'll take it off the wall. Whoop. I mean, that's amazing detail. So this, this, uh, I never actually made a flag for myself for the shop. Yeah. And I, I actually made this out of scrap wood from other flags. Uh, yeah. But, you know, I was able to put the, my daughter made a, 
made our logo. I was able to put the shovels on there uh, with the engraving. It's a special router bit. And yep. uh, it's, it's somebody actually offered me some money for it. I'm like, yeah, you know what? This one isn't for sale. This one's for me. And uh, when I walk in the shop, it's the first thing I see. And uh, it's, it's kind of near and dear to my heart as far as the the flags go but it's it's um it's one of my favorites i generally don't i don't like to toot my own horn i don't i don't sit there and ooh and ah over the things that i make but that the, the shell that tones is like, amazing yeah. Is, yeah it's one of the cool ones yeah just yeah. like the the one behind me is actually one of my first uh prototype wavy flags okay yeah they uh that that is made from reclaimed wood um I am not 100% sure where that wood came from. Uh, I'd have to check the back, which would involve unlag bolting it from the wall. I'm not about yeah. to do, but it, uh, they take about the, the wavy flags take about two to three weeks to, to make. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, it's a, a huge process that I've developed over two years. But um, if I make one, if I put it out on social media, it's gone in five, 10 minutes, every single one of them. Oh yeah. They're, uh, I, I don't make a lot of them. Um, I do. You know, if someone orders one, I will make them, but they're, um, they're definitely the, there. they're one of the, the, the nicer ones. But the, the bread and butter of what we do are like right behind you, minus the challenge coins, mm -hmm. um, the, the regular flag with the engraving on it, and we can engrave anything. And um, th th they're all, those are 100% made out of reclaimed materials, and those are, those are the fun ones. And handmade. You know, hand yes. produced, handmade. Yeah, there was nothing, um, nothing computerized about our flags. They're uh, every slot is cut, uh, every star is applied by hand. Nothing is made on a CNC machine. Uh, I, the, you know, they're all distressed with a blowtorch. The flag frames themselves still have old cut nails in them. I have scars on my head to prove. Uh, and um, they're 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 made with a lot of care. And yeah. every single one of them I like. And whenever uh, someone picks them up, one of the best compliments I have, it's not when I get paid. It's when somebody posts a picture on social media and, and like, you know, Chris, I absolutely love this thing. And that's, that to me is uh, more important than the money. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was the, uh, I sent you that post this morning and it was great, you know, because, you know, one of the people that I got a flag for was uh, Andrew Appleton, who he, we got it for him for all the flights that he had booked for, mm -hmm. uh, for getting uh, active military members home for the holidays. And he's been doing Facebook lives and every shot he does, he's got the flag behind him like this. And he had posts this morning. It was like great flag, beautiful flag. And, and he told me, he's like, well, this is one of the greatest, you know, Marine, uh, one of the greatest gifts he's ever received. And, uh, and Jason Taylor embraced the suck. I brought him your, your, uh, uh, I know that you remember this it was one of your first wavy flags. It was a 1776 wavy flag, big, heavy one. The heavy meatball one. and vodka podcast. What's that? Yeah, the meatball. Yeah, me, me, <laughs> me, yeah, meatballs and martinis. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's it, well, it, it is a couple of years ago. Yeah, and uh, you know that's the thing is like this is not just some you know everyone that I've ever given this to presented it to. I bought one for uh, Gulf Coast State College last year, the ones that went through Hurricane Michael, and I'd seen every picture after the after the storm. They still flew their American flag. Their houses were destroyed. Their boats were in their yards. And they're still flying the American flag. And that sits in the president of the college's um, waiting room. You know, they're so proud of that, that everybody that comes in to see the president of the college sees that flag. So it's, it's just an amazing uh, gift. It's an amazing item. Now, I, I, I've been queuing you up for over a year uh, to do this, and you still haven't done it. So I'm going to put you on the audio, video portion of this. What do your flags start at? What can someone expect to spend, invest in for a flag? What oh, is a, a ballpark is, starting number? Been uh, your passion for two years. <laughs> as, as I'm telling you, it's not enough. I'm telling you, it's not enough. I, I'm surprised I don't hear my wife on your cell phone in the back. <laughs> these things. So, the 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 uh, a price for a regular flag, like without the challenge coins behind you, they that with with full engraving, they cost three hundred and fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. And and they go up from their uh, different uh, customizations. The the wavy flags, uh, because of what's involved, they start at five hundred dollars. Um, unfortunately, the wavy flags I have not developed a way to engrave those yet. Although I have somebody in New Hampshire that is hammering me, just constantly 
to get me to figure out a way to uh, to engrave them. And then every so often I'll do a custom flag um, and instead of coating it in polyurethane, we'll coat it in epoxy. And we can use a million different items for stars. I've done one for a hardware store where we use nuts and bolts for stars. Uh, I've done nautical ones. I've done emergency medical service ones where we use the star of life for stars. Uh, and the epoxy coating is um, similar to what you would see on a bar, like a bar topping. As a matter of fact, the, the flag behind me, this yep. is um, this, the, the flag. Let's see if we can tilt it a yep. little bit. With the, the mountains, this is my 250th flag. Yep. Uh, another flag that I actually kept for myself. Uh, I made for my wife. And my wife and I, we, we ski quite a bit. And I saw something similar online. I was like, oh, you know what? I want to see if I can make that. And mm -hmm. not only is it, is it coated in epoxy, but this flag is made from a tree, two trees that I took down um, probably about five years ago in my backyard. All 100% uh, native. I'm trying to decide since it's coated in epoxy, I may turn it into a uh, an end table. So oh, that's we'll, cool. We'll see. But and and the price and the price varies based on what you want for stars. I know you did one for a, a I think a gun store that you used shotgun, shotgun shells. shells. Yeah, yeah. You shotgun shells. Um, I, I mean it. One one of the one of the great things of what we're doing now is I I have clients. Um, I, I have somebody right now that is called and 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 they're trying to incorporate their yacht club their yacht club uh, emblem into the flag as well as their um, their Bergy, which is uh, the yacht club's uh, own personal flag mm -hmm. into the union of the American flag. So the customization um, it's 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 actually kind of fun and it, it's it's kind of a, I'm trying to put a positive spin on having all this time at home in the shop. Well, normally I wouldn't have time to do something like that. Now I can. So, yeah. so you know, utilizing some of this time for some business development um, is a very positive thing for uh, a business like mine. Yeah, no, it's it. Uh, I mean, come up with you come up with all these great ideas and you get it out to market. Like you say, you test the market. I want to talk about that in a, in a second. Um, you know, I'm glad that we got the pricing out there because I think that people are going to say that it's not enough because your flags. Uh, when they go to charity, which you are uh, pretty philanthropical with your giving of flags, uh, one of your flags actually went for like almost six thousand dollars, right? Almost seven. Okay, almost seven. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the Zach Brown flag for the auction. Um, yeah, which I won't tell people that you sh they should get one of your Zach Brown flags because the engraving of you putting the song from Chicken uh, Chicken Stir Fry on there. <laughs> <laughs> uh is like it's like painstakingly a couple of days worth of work so that's not the uh, the 350 flag um but uh yeah no you 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 it's amazing what your flags um what people when they get into a, a bidding situation what they pay for them that's actually um, it's one of my favorite stories to tell <laughs> and and it it's it, it's kind of a spin off of one of the things i decided to do about 2 years ago is because this is uh, a lot of this wood is wood that I, I I will take from you know houses that I renovate or now it's morphed to where guys will bring me beams being in construction other guys know that hey Millsy can you use this and they'll drop it off at the house um, I donate at least one flag a month to uh, a person or a charity and 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 over the years it's um, I have met some amazing people. I have a, a whole you know binder full of thank you notes from you know, very famous people. And uh, one of them, it's no secret that everybody who knows me or knows of me knows that I'm a Zach Brown freak. And uh, last year I just woke up and said, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna donate a flag to somewhere, so I'm gonna donate a flag to Zach Brown. And I made one and I sent it off to his foundation that is very near and dear to my heart, uh, Camp Southern Ground. And I donated, and truth be told, I forgot that I even sent them a flag. And, and two weeks later, I got a phone call. Uh, the Cliff Notes version, they asked if they could use it in their uh, charity auction that they have at the end of the year for the summer camp, which works with uh, veterans reintegrating in society. And um autistic kids and 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 of course i i was i was i was literally blown away 
And because of those flags, my wife got a witch and I got on a plane again. And <laughs> you you and Amy and Carrie and I, we, we had a, a, a good weekend. A life, it was a life Nine experience. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to talk about the flight, but... No. <laughs> but the money that was raised that, that uh, we went down to the Zach Brown... Uh, was it night of candles? Night of candles. Yeah, night of candles. A, a venue where 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 one of your favorite people is singing and literally watching people fight over something that you made is it's amazing. That's pretty cool and raised a bunch of money, uh, which was which was uh, for me it was a great life experience for me to to be to be a part of. Um, you know, let's 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 shift gears a little bit. Um, you're killing it on social media like yeah, you're just fun. you're it's you and, and you weren't a social media guy um i wasn't at first and it, it's become it, it's actually entertaining <laughs> yeah. and you know having a business having a business account um you know the use of facebook instagram it it it, it allows you to you can really steer some people's moods with some of the things that you do and it's it, it's allowed me to to get some messages out there. Um, it's it's absolutely one hundred percent unequivocally made my business better, um, and I've also learned a lot of things too. And, and it's not all positive sometimes on social media. You 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 have to learn from your screw ups. You have to. I, I fortunately, I'm married to one of the most amazing people in the world, and. Nine times out of 10, if I screw up, I'm going to hear from her first. And she'd be like, you might want to take that down, you idiot. And, 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 and you know, the, just different things that you learn from. Yep. Well, I mean, and it gets the word out, which is great. And like I say, it's, it, to watch you go from like no social media presence, no website, just kind of making it as people are interested to having actual people. I mean, you've got people that are proactively reaching out to you. You started out just as kind of your circle area of, of East and around, and now it's, you know, it's, it's branched out. Like you say, you get someone in New Hampshire that's want you to do the uh, engraving on the frames of, of the wavy flags. Um, you've got people all over the place and you're doing, and, and I'm going to go back to this. I hope you don't mind me mentioning a couple of the people that you've done the flags for that you've yeah. just sent, sent out. Um, Cause it's really cool the way that your brain works sometimes. I'm not going to say all the time, but sometimes, um, you know, I remember one, one, uh, one night you sent me a message and you're like, Hey, I'm going to send this guy a flag. And it was a police officer. That's a hockey coach that had the, the, um, oh, yeah. Wow, I forgot that, about him. Yeah. yeah, that he, that he basically had his pep talk for his team. And he's like, there will be no kneeling for the national anthem. And you never met the guy. You didn't know the guy. Uh, I think he's in Danbury, Connecticut. Danbury, Connecticut. Uh, That's yeah, right. Danbury, Connecticut police officer. And you just dropped a flag, uh, 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 it was a flag Custom. with um, nine millimeter bullets drilled into each star. Yeah, That's I mean, right. I <laughs> tons of detail, and yeah. it just you, you did it with no expectation, which that's always the amazing thing for me. Is like you do it with absolutely no expectation. You we almost always get something from it from someone, but like no expectation from it. But it was just really cool that you you know you made a friend through that. Um, no, absolutely. It, it was, it's definitely, you know, I, it was def the power of social media and, and I saw something on social media and I, I was, I was blown away. And, and I remember, I remember the night it was, I, I don't even know why I clicked on this thing and I clicked on it. And my son, who at the time was a freshman at Mass Maritime Academy, um, very patriotic. Yep. And we're watching this and it's, it's a hockey coach and he's, he's talking to his team about, uh, trying out for the hockey team and basically saying in a nutshell, I don't care how good you are. If you're not going to stand for this flag, something that I've seen draped over too many coffins over the years, um, you know, just there's, there's no spot for you here. Yep. And me with my crazy brain, I was like, I did some research on it. I found out he was a, a police officer too. And I, I just sent him a flag with a note. Yep. And he called me two weeks later to thank me. We talked for three hours on the phone. I was at the fire station. The guy called me. Uh, it, it was, it's, it's something that, you know, it, it cost me, you know, a, a day's worth of my time and maybe a few dollars, but it, worth it every penny in the long run. Yeah. And you did one more for, uh, 
um, you did one more that I became, that I got to meet, which was amazing, which was the red, white, and brew flag uh, that for Michael, um, you know, and I mean, you went, you went and you did that North Smithfield, Rhode Island. And I'll tell anybody, if you, if you haven't listened to the episode with Mike and his mom um, from Red, White, and Brew, it, it's a phenomenal episode, a phenomenal family. And they opened a coffee shop <clears throat> and gift shop. And it's just a, I remember you drive, you drop the flag off and you call me, you're like, dude, you got to get up. You got to do a podcast with these people, just phenomenal people. Um, but you just, actually, again, you, you, you actually drove down there. Yeah, you that even, was the first yeah. It's funny. I was just telling someone the story the other day. When I send the flags, I don't want anything for it. I, I typically very purposely mail the flag with a letter because I, I'm, I'm doing it solely because I want to send that person a, a flag. It has nothing to do with recognition or anything like that. And I, I remember that I, my, my wife and I had seen on Facebook uh, an, an autistic kid that, that opened a coffee shop because he couldn't get a job anywhere. And he called it red, white, and brew. And my wife says to me, she's like, how do you not give this kid a flag? And I said, you know what? You're right. So I made it. I put red, white, and brew on the flag. And uh, I remember it was the day before Thanksgiving last year. And uh, I'm sitting there saying, well, I could ship it or I could just go drive 20 minutes and drop the damn thing off. So, so I did. And I, I show up at this coffee shop holding this flag like an idiot. And, and I had no idea what to say. And I, and I walk in and, and I saw the first person I saw, I said, I said, hi, um, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I, I made this flag for you guys because quite honestly, what you're doing is inspiring me. And I give a one flag a month away and, and you guys get November's flag. And two hours later, I, I had just made some amazing contacts and friends and, and, and they're, to this day, it's it's now you know April two thousand twenty, and and I they're very close friends of mine. Yeah, so it was worth it, and then some. Yeah, well, I mean that's the thing uh, that one of the things I want to take away from this whole podcast is, you know, one the power of positivity, two the fact that you, we all need to figure out what it is. I mean, this is a great opportunity for us to really figure out if we love what we do. Like I love what I do, um, and that's the reason why I moved from you know in person. Uh, touch to to podcasts and everything else. I love interaction. I love being able to to share messages and share stories. Um, but to 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 keep that through these challenging times, you've done that, and you've done it um, probably with challenging times outside of COVID nineteen and and everything that's going on with that. Um, just absolutely amazed and inspired by uh, a lot of what it is that you do. I don't say that too often because I normally say GFY or pick on you for something and. Uh, make fun of you for any number of things or hide your tools from you because you have OCD, but um, you do have an amazing talent and gift. And I'm just glad that people are seeing it even in these difficult times and keeping you plenty busy. Um, I, I've, been, I've been blown away. Uh, I had someone order a flag. Um, let's see if I can show it to you. I, I'm going to ship it on Monday. Yeah, you probably can't see it, but way up there above that door. Yeah. That flag says, um, one nation under God yeah, and it, it couldn't be more fitting for times like these. And, yeah. and uh, I, one of the things that I love are the quotes that people will send me that they want on the flags. And I say, Jesus, I never thought of that. You yeah. know, that's a great flag quote. Not that I'm like, Alice, would you mind if I use that again? Um, and, and it's, it's, it, it's great. I mean, I, I'd like to think that we're all patriotic mm -hmm. and, in you know times like these, if people are local, I, I absolutely have no problem leaving the flag out on my porch. Uh, if you want to pick it up, curbside pickup. You know, social distancing. Um, yeah. I'm actually going to drop one off at somebody's house tomorrow. Which is, I just said, I'm like, I'll leave it on the porch, wrapped up. I I'll leave. You can take it. And 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 you know, it's it's something that we, the social distancing is something that we absolutely have to respect right now. But I've been able to. Uh, I, I guess I could say that the, 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 the COVID-19 is not as my, the Shoveltown flag has not been affected by it. Thankfully, mm -hmm. we're still plugging along. Good. So how do people follow you? How do people find you? How do people order a flag? How do people, uh, do you ship? Where do you ship to? Give us the whole rundown on that. We'll get wrap up and go back to a social Saturday with families. Um, 
we can ship a flag anywhere, uh, anywhere in the continental U.S. or you know out of country if need be. Uh, we have a website www.shoveltownflag.com. Uh, as of right now, the best way because every flag is different in customization. I do not have a standard order form, which I'm being told by my boss that uh, that will be changed by mid next week. Yep. Um, we will have a, a Google form for you to fill out. But as of right now, it's you just basically with prices, with prices, um, <laughs> <laughs> send an inquiry. Uh, and, and then I, I and I'm, I'm very quick about getting back to it and describing the flag. Um, I kind of set it up originally that way because it, it, it basically, every person that's ever bought a flag, the, fr the, the one thing that I always get from people is you're not charging enough, mm -hmm. but you know, there's always the person that's like, oh my God, why are they so much money? And you know, well, they're not really that much money. Here's why. Mm -hmm. And, oh, and, and 90% of the time, all right, uh, great. You, you know, and, and, and I'll take one. And when they get them, Everybody says the same thing. It's, it's been like, this is, this is unbelievable. And, and they're because of the reclaimed wood, because you see the nails in there, you, you know, wood that has withstood the, the time and, and weather and, and all kinds of abuse. It's something that you, you are going to have, you are going to be able to hand down to somebody else. Yep. You know, I mean, one of my favorite things is when someone sends me a picture of one of my flags above their mantle, it's a focal point. It's, it's, um, it, it's oh. really, you know, impressive and it, it's powerful to me i mean the flag that my, my first flag that i got um it's in my be awesome shirt store uh which is at my house so it's not like a public store so it's it's closed for uh the public always even when it's not social distancing but it says on it established 2018 so as long as be awesome is in business um anybody that comes in and asks a story I mean, it was made in 2018 it's from 2018 and uh, it was a gift from you one of the few gifts that you know, I got when I started out, you and uh, Johnny Powers, you know, in competition gave me a seven foot half, half cut bat. That's got my, uh, my logo on it. Another, um, uh, yeah, we did turn, we did turn one of those half bats into a flag. Did Oh, that's right. You did, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Where did that, where did that end up? I have no idea. I and forgot I still, about that. It, it showed up in my feed, you know, <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, I, I forgot that I did that. It mm -hmm. looked like the shorts that, um, Apollo Creed war and Rocky. That's Ford. right. That's right. I did. Yeah. I got to get, send me a picture of that. I'm gonna put that on my, on the, on this, uh, on this podcast. I mean, even my wife was like, how the hell did you make that? I was like, I don't know. I just went downstairs and did it. Yeah. So we, we, we have turned a few things in the flags over the years, but it, um, and we do give, uh, first responders, military discounts. Absolutely. Yeah. Without question, $50 off. Um, so it's, it's, it, it's, to me, it's, it's a, it's definitely a, a way I can give back. It's, it's, it's great when I see a, a charity that I, I want to help out and, and the timing's right. I can donate a flag and they raffle something off and they make a thousand dollars. Um, yeah. so it's, well, it's, it's, uh, it's, well, when you went up on a spinathon and you decide to raffle a flag off while I'm offering to put people's names on the back of my shirt. Yeah. I won't live that one down. <laughs> <laughs> it was for a good cause good cause uh yeah darcy's not here well yeah, yeah but it it um it, yeah. it, as a matter of fact that's the flag that i have to deliver tomorrow yeah um, <laughs> they still haven't gotten it because of this ridiculous disease but it um it's 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 definitely it, it's i i have a benefit that i'm able to fundraise a little bit i have a good yeah. a good uh community behind me that, that is very generous so why yeah. not what do you raise? Three grand? <sighs> it was something like that. Yeah. 3,200 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. It was a little over three, I think. And Donate that, 20 or more and you get your name in a, put in the jar to win. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah that's good. So last question. Uh, how long does it take when somebody wants a flag right now or when the Google form is done? Like, Hey, uh, Chris, make a flag. You Here's what I want. Tonight, inquiring about a flag. It's still two to three weeks out. I, I have a list that ahead of me, um, as the weather gets warmer, as we get closer to, I would say Memorial day through labor day, the, the wait's a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Um, and close up the holidays, it's a little bit longer too. So the average is two to three weeks. Sometimes, a, a little bit longer than that you've never had to no one's ever had to wait more than four weeks for a flag but yeah. they're all handmade 
by me, finished by me. Um, I do recruit one of my daughters occasionally to, uh, if there's some customization, she's, my daughter Katie's amazing with the uh, painting, so she will help me out sometimes um, when I can afford her. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it, it it's generally no longer than a month, unless it's something really, really, really customized. Jack D minus Mills might be putting in some hours so he can get some more villa uh, ready to make pizzas. Yeah, yeah, he he has a <laughs> he, he has an account here at Double Down Flag that he's the work off. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, uh, really appreciate first you know our friendship, but uh, what you're doing as a first responder, uh, keeping your your head about yourself with everything that's going on with this craziness, and I couldn't be happier that your business is is uh, still going strong and that you're keeping. You know, you're keeping yourself busy and you're keeping smiles on people's faces and doing the best that you can because this is a uh, this is a this is a tough time, um, and you're making you're making the most of it. And uh, I hope to see that many many more people buy flags, uh, not just now and this time, but all the time because I think that they're fantastic. Anybody out there, I've got a lot of uh, company followers. I'll tell you, there isn't much better a gift to give someone or to give a company that you partner with. Uh, I've done it. As I said, I, I actually, as we were talking through this, I added, uh, I'm, I think it's, it's 12 flags. Um, Cause we got the one that's in the Watertown fire department that I went and brought uh, with the, with the, uh, with the, the with the ax through the, with the middle yeah. of it. Um, yeah. So, um, but definitely well, well worth the investment. Uh, it's something that's going to stick around for a real long time and you can look at it and, and uh, be, be proud of the, of the flag that flies uh for us every day and the folks that stand behind it so hey man appreciate it i've been i've been fortunate enough i, I this is the first podcast i think in a while last po podcast uh uh was paul anastasia and we had a little bit of my pappy van winkle uh my uh friend and hero that saved my life when i almost choked on a prime rib sandwich this is from another paul paul fletcher gave me a bottle of new riff kentucky straight bourbon whiskey and it is fantastic so uh, thank you, Paul. And uh, I'm going to. It's good at seven thirty in the morning that you're, you're enjoying it too. I know it's kind of a late start for me, but I know, what are you going to do with this whole COVID COVID nineteen quarantine? You know, you got to live in alcohol, so you <laughs> just got to keep it going. But uh, look forward to seeing you in person. This is, I think, the longest stretch that I haven't actually seen you in person. Yeah, uh, we in, have to look at our star together at night just to, you know. <laughs> I'm glad you figured out Zoom so now we can actually do it. For those of you that don't follow him on Facebook, I've been posting uh, whether or not this is actually going to happen this year because it's been, it was about 20 minutes late because uh, someone couldn't figure out the Zoom login. Well, that's, guess, that's okay. I was able to uh, let my ice melt a little bit. We're still working on LinkedIn. Tell Ed, I, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> He's giving you shout outs left and right. You probably had 47 <laughs> alerts and you figured it out. Good stuff, man. Um, we'll keep, keep plugging and uh, just amazing to watch you do all this stuff. Appreciate you taking some time here today and uh, shops looks fantastic. Looks fantastic. So I'll look forward to coming over there and stealing some tools from you just because I want to make things uncomfortable. Well, and, uh, you know what? It, when this is all passes, I look forward to that, to that day too. <laughs> all right, brother. Well, that's going to do it here for another episode of the Be Awesome podcast. We've got a whole bunch of other great people lined up for the next week that I'm hoping they all come through. I want to do this just about every single day. I think I'm going to take uh, one day off here and there, um, not to push it too much, but to make sure that uh, you guys get a break too. Uh, we all deserve to have one. Uh, this has been a crazy three weeks. It's, uh, it's going to get crazier for the next couple of weeks, according to everybody um smarter than me and i'm i'm hunkered down i've got hay feed groceries and everything else that last me a couple of weeks so uh no one's going to see me on the streets um in the meantime again uh i'm back on ratings reviews follows likes everything else uh i got uh i got myself real busy with with uh public speaking and everything that it wasn't a, much of a concern and then everybody that i've talked to has told me that uh it's important uh and chris will probably attest to this with his social media mastery that uh it makes sense to have people that uh that follow you that tell you they're following you opposed to just assuming that people care and that they are so anybody that does a a rating and review the podcast um the podcast um 
ratings. One of the aspects I believe is on ratings and reviews. So if you do a rating and review, send me an email. Uh, your time is the most valuable thing that you have. Um, and you're giving it to me to do that. So I will give you a, a free t-shirt. Just email me, Josh at be awesome.com. That's J O S H at B E A U S M. Send me your size, your address, drop it in the mail. And, uh, then you can have a be awesome t-shirt, all of your own. I got a whole bunch of them, uh, with being locked in here for a couple of months. So, uh, would love to give a couple away to folks that, uh, give me a, a rating and review. So, I appreciate you, Chris. Go back to whatever it is that you're doing for your Saturday. And uh, everybody else, if you can be anything, be awesome. We'll talk to you hopefully tomorrow. All righty.